What's up guys, it's Vortex here, and today we're going to do a quick review on the 4G EE router by EE. Okay, so let's get started straight away. So at the front here, we have the on and off button. On top, we have the power, Wi-Fi, LAN network, and signal indicators. On the right side, we have a WPS button, a reset button, and a nano SIM slot. Carry on round, we have the two external LTE antenna connectors, the power pass through, USB for USB printers or mass storage devices, and two LAN connectors. Keep going around, we have nothing, and then on top we have the EE logo. Underneath we have the information about the device and the password to log in, and we have two connectors, two points to mount it on the wall. Okay, so I'm going to connect it all up and show you the speed test. Okay guys, so I have everything connected up with two signal bars, as you can see here. Okay, it's gone down one, because I moved it. But it, um, it's up by the window right now, because that's where we get the best signal in the house, because the antenna is straight across from here. Um, if you're going to use this properly, and you don't get a regular signal, I recommend using the 4G antenna and plug one in outside. So we're going to go to the computer and do a speed test and check out the control panel. Okay guys, so we're now on the computer and we're going to do a speed test using Google. As you can see we're hitting speeds around 50, 48 to 50 megabytes per second down. and an upload speed that is fluctuating between the high threes and up to four. Okay, and a ping of 18. Okay, so the control panel can be accessed by going to 192.168.1.1 and this is the screen you'll be displayed with. You can see the connection to the um, signal strength here. We can check out how many devices are connected using 2.4 and 5 gigahertz uh, Wi-Fi network. We click here to check out our data usage, how much we have left. We have 200 megabytes left. Uh, if we click here, not to log in using admin, but I've already changed the password, so. Enter that there. So if we go to quick setup, we can um, choose our network mode, the connection mode and all this, just click next on that. We can change the SSID name and we can decide if we want to broadcast it or not. Choose the password security and the password key. Okay, that's uh, saved. So from here we can access um, basic Wi-Fi, advanced features and security and advanced settings we get to configure the WAN, the MAC, clone, LAN, the WAN ping, IP filter, we can blacklist or whitelist IPs and we can blacklist and whitelist um, MAC addresses, we can turn on DMZ as well as ALG which is already on UPnP can be turned on and with the NTP server G to virtual server QoS and we can set up parental controls if we go to device we can see the name, the IME9 number the number linked to the SIM card the software version modem version, MAC address, we can change the password, the settings, we can back up and restore, we can restart or factory data reset and we can also update the device from here. That's pretty much it for here, we can also access the 
text messages from the device. We can also, I think we can send. Yeah, we can. Yeah, that's the speed test and how the control panel. It is limited. However, I recommend hooking this up to another router and using the settings on that to port forward and such. So yeah, um, I think that wraps it up. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you next time.